Hi, and welcome to the fourth episode of the American Songbook Association's Sunday Sessions. I'm Carolyn Montgomery, your host. The mission of the American Songbook Association is to promote and preserve great American musical legacies like jazz and musical theater and our beloved Great American Songbook. Our guest today, Ms. Marilyn May, has devoted her brilliant career to doing just that. Our board approached Ms. May to talk about creating some kind of great fundraiser for our education and outreach program. And we suggested to her that her amazing television career had brought the Great American Songbook into millions of homes. So together with our master technician, Chuck Pennington, we have found rare footage that is bound to delight you. And I hope it will also inspire you to give to the American Songbook Association. Our education and outreach program is bringing this classic music into schools all across the country, and we need your help. So look at the ticker below, and you'll see all the information you need to donate. And without further ado, I bring to you Ms. Marilyn May. Marilyn May is with us tonight. She is a super singer, and she'll be appearing this fall at Studio One out here in Los Angeles. Would you welcome, please, Miss Marilyn May? Well, I hear music when I look at you. A beautiful theme of every dream I ever knew. Down deep in my heart, I hear it play. I feel it start. A beautiful recipe of some enchanted land Down deep in my heart I hear it say Is this the day? I alone have heard this lovely strain I alone have heard this glad refrain Must it be forever inside of me? Why can't I let it go? Why can't I let you know? Why can't I let you know the song my heart would sing? A beautiful the melody's sweet, the words are true The song is you I alone have heard this lovely strain I alone have heard this glad refrain Oh, must it be forever inside of me? Why can't I let it go? Why can't I let you know? Why is it always so? Why can't I let you know the song my heart would sing? A beautiful Spring, the melody is sweet, the words are true. Let me repeat how the notes come through. This lovely music keeps on saying you, you. I hear music, pretty, pretty music. I hear music when I look at you. And the song is you. And the song is you. The song. Well, I have to, uh, I have to confess that I just fangirled out when I made that interview. When I made that introduction, I am completely giddy with excitement to have our next guest, and I'm going to get a hold of myself. I didn't play the ticker. I will, I will run the ticker every once in a while to show you how to donate to the American Songbook Association. It is with so much pleasure that I bring to into our live broadcast room, Ms. Marilyn May. A different person. <laughs> I know. I, I, was so I was like, I'm not Marilyn May in my room. Very exciting. Oh, hi, Carolyn. I'm so glad to be with you. Yeah, I'm glad I pulled it together. You know, at the beginning, at the beginning of this thing, because we have so many wonderful clips to show. Well, this is my first time to uh, in the last uh, five months to uh, ever do a. a cast with you know get, getting on camera and uh, it's a <laughs> little lucky the hair the hair it's not really white it's blonde uh, <laughs> because it was white and mm. now it's blonde yes and i hear that long and uh, it's a new world isn't it it is a whole new world and how how have you how have you been what, what well you my last gig uh, my last engagement 
was uh, in St. Louis at Jazz St. Louis, a wonderful jazz club called Jazz St. Louis, mm. and in March 9, 10, 11, 12. And the, uh, the band was a uh, 17-piece fabulous band. All the horn men were from St. Louis. Mm. And uh, Ted Firth was my conductor on the show, and, and I had my own rhythm section. Oh. Um, Gerald Spates from Kansas City and, and uh, Rod Fleeman from Kansas City mm -hmm. and Todd Strait, my drummer from Kansas City. So I had my, you know, and then all the, all the horn men were in St. Louis. And we had good crowds. By March 12, the announcements were really getting very, very serious. Yeah. And um, my, my, my <laughs> Ted first said, you're, you, Marilyn, you're not going to do meet and greet. And that's my favorite thing to do is to I meet know. everybody yeah. and, and hug them and know who they are and, and what they're about. And, and we talk a lot after the show. I always call it my second show. <laughs> <laughs> and Ted said, you're not going to do that this time. And I said, well, if, if, if they come up to me, we can touch elbows. Right. So, so that's what we did. We touched elbows. And we, and, uh, yeah. That was the end of it. I was supposed to go on to Palm Springs to uh, my twice a year engagement at the Purple Room, and that was canceled. I drove back to Kansas City and have been here ever since until wow. the latter part of, uh, no, let me see, the, the latter part of August. Yeah. And that was my first engagement. My goodness. Well, we're thrilled to see you. A lot of people have missed you very, very much. And I understand. I, miss them. <laughs> I know that the next the next tune that I'm going to play uh, was Johnny Carson's favorite song. Is that correct? It is. We thought that would be appropriate. He he would pop into the makeup room every day, um, not every day, every time I would be on the show. And he would say, Marilyn, are you going to do? And he would announce the title of this song. And I would say, well, Johnny, I've already done it twice. <laughs> So we wound up doing it, I think, four times on, on the show. Mm. He said, That's all right. You can do it again. You can do it again. That's right. So this I is a cried every time. <laughs> yeah. How wonderful. All right. Well, we are going to play that next clip. Can't wait for you to hear this. That's a wonderful band. Oh, that's such a good band. Johnny, I dedicate this to you because it's your favorite song, I think. Maybe I should have saved those leftover dreams. Funny is that rainy day. Is that rainy day they told me all about? At the thought that it might turn out this way. Where is 
that worn out wish I simply threw aside After it brought my love so very near Yes, it's funny how love becomes cold, a cold rainy day And it's very funny Thank you, Marilyn. That's the way to sing songs like oh. that. She's a super singer. Well, <laughs> that's everybody's favorite song when it's sung like that. Our next song is a bit of a departure from the Great American Songbook, but it's done so well that I think all of us can forget about that. but I wanted to bring Marilyn back and uh, do another number because she was super tonight. Miss Marilyn May. Let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Let me take you to this wonderland that only we can share. All I ask you is let me be there. Please let me be there. Wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, surely you know that I always want to be there. Yeah. Holding your hand and standing by the you with you fall see you through in everything you do let me be there in your morning or let me be there in your night let me change whatever's wrong and make it right let me take you to this wonderland that only we can share all I ask won't you let me be there, please let me be there Watching you grow and going through the changes in your life Surely you know that I always want to be there Whenever you feel that you need a friend to call on Here I am, whatever you do Let me be there in your night Let me change whatever's wrong And make it right Let me take you to this wonderland That only we can share All I ask you is let me be there Let me be there 
Shakespeare is such a good singer. And you're going to do with us, Kansas? Turn my mood ring blue. Oh, Turn it dear, blue. Is that good blue is good. Yeah. That's how good you are. You're going to be with the Kansas City Philharmonic? Philharmonic with that wonderful orchestra. Hey, that's, that's my hometown, and it'll be good to get back for a while. I've been yeah, in Hawaii be getting a... tan. and Super engagement. Yes, I am it. super. You were I'm back. so glad to see you Thank close, you. close. I've done the show 60 times, and so many people say, what is the real Johnny Carson like? And I, I don't know. Oh, Tell me what you like. You, you do, too. Look at my ring. It's turning green. I know. That's because of your dress. I thank you for being. Do we have, we're going to cut away for a second, then we come back? Okay, to wrap up. All right. Zubo ba 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 I'm going to bring Marilyn back after that fabulous thing <laughs> and interview. You well, know, oh. this two weeks has been the most exciting thing listening to you almost constantly. I am, it's just amazing. But I am curious, we chose that that clip for a reason and I'm, I'm curious why you didn't do more interviews. Well, that question is asked of me um, all the time. Um, we did, I think five, but we sat uh, five times. And I loved speaking with him and, and all the good, great ways that he did an interview. You know, when he would do an interview, he would ask a question and he would listen to the first answer. And then the conversation would proceed from that, not from the second question. He mm. would ask you, you know, it wasn't just a line of questions that he, that he would uh, refer to. And it was always conversation, so it was great. But, but I was given the choice of singing two songs and usually two songs in a row or else singing one song and then coming back a little later and doing a second song, doing two songs or doing one song and an interview. Mm -hmm. And I always chose to sing two songs because that's, that's what I'm about. So, yes, absolutely. That's what I love. I love to talk now as, as we have Carol. <laughs> well, it's been, it's been a great pleasure in my life, but um, our next tune actually is um, addressing a very topical relevant subject right now, which is women's rights and I can't wait for people to hear this one as well. It's, it kind of refers to that doesn't it? Yes it does. <laughs> Here is one of the fine singers working today. She she knows her craft, professional in every sense of the word. This is the RCA. My next guest, Miss Marilyn May, is truly a fine singer, and uh, she'll be appearing with the Kansas City Philharmonic on February the sixth. Mm. And somebody found out today this is her sixtieth appearance on the Tonight Show. Would mm. you welcome Miss Marilyn May? Marilyn. to be something that I'm not and, and I won't wear a mask Oh, you touched my face with love in your eyes But will you touch my heart With the understanding that it takes to realize can play a part I just need to be true to myself and make my own my own mistakes now I don't want to lean too hard on on someone else no matter so, so if you're sure it's love, please be sure it's love for me. No.
the master of my fate. Oh, but it's up to me to choose my roads and life. Rocky they may be, the roads I take are the roads that, that I take. There's a need to be something more. Just a reflection of a man I can survive in someone else's shadow I need my, my very own little spot to stand So if you're sure it's love Please be sure it's love for me And I have a need to be He's so good. Yes, sir. She is truly so good. Mm. She is truly so good that I get carried away. And I have to remember, I'm the technician on this show. I'm bringing Marilyn back in. Marilyn, that lyric, I need to make my own mistakes, is especially poignant right now for me as I jumped the gun on one of your songs. But well, I'm, not, I, I'm my own technician today. I'm not a tech genius. <laughs> this is a new art, new art for me. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, it, it's beautiful too. But I'm glad to be learning it. And I, yeah, I own my own mistakes. I wanted to ask you, it wasn't Carson first, right? Didn't Steve Allen play a pretty good role? And no, Steve was, was the beginning of, of my okay. career, actually. I had worked in Kansas City for eight long years every night, well, five nights a week in, a, in, a, in one particular club, eight years while my daughter was growing up and my husband was my pianist and we had a trio and we worked in this wonderful little room called The Colony. And, uh, and then we would, so Steve Allen saw me there and decided that, that I should do his show. He had a show um, in, in uh, Ranch Market in Hollywood. Now, it wasn't the Steve Allen Tonight Show. It was another, uh, later on, a Steve Allen show. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody tell me where that was. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> maybe. But, uh, I did his show maybe he brought me out from Kansas City. I would be working in this little room in Kansas City and he would bring me out to to do his show. And then I would go back to the little room in Kansas City. We did it five yeah. times. And during one of those times, um, Malou Renee, a wonderful wife of a, of a an A&R man with RCA, saw me first. Right. He, he and he were both musicians. And um, it, they, she said, now, wait a minute. And finally, on the last time that I, was, that I did Steve's show, she said, here's this singer from Kansas City that I'm telling you about. And he heard me and he called and he said, I want to, I want to record you. Oh. And I said, thank you. I've already had an offer from another record company. He said, well, I'm talking about RCA and a full orchestra with, with name musicians and really doing it my way because he was a great musician himself. Yeah. And I said, that sounds lovely to me, but, but because of Steve, Steve. And it's interesting, I did a traveling show um, many years later with Steve, we did uh, three weeks of one-nighters uh -huh. <laughs> with, with uh, Bill Dana and Louie Nye, and um, uh, and it was a and Paul Smith, the great uh -huh. pianist, 
Paul Smith, and uh, in the car, we would we traveled by car from theater to theater, and um, they would pontificate on comedy, Steve, and really, it, was, it was just such a trip. I bet it was wonderful. Yeah, it, it was uh, lovely. Steve was very good to me, and when he would introduce me on those shows, he would not quote himself. He would he would quote things that Johnny Carson said, which I thought was oh, you know interesting. interesting. Yeah, he yeah. Re, he and Johnny were very good friends, and and uh, he respected him so. Well, we're going to move right into the next tune and show people yet another reason why Steve Allen discovered this young woman from Kansas City and made her a recording star. It's still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. I cried for you. back and we are live with Miss Marilyn May. How lucky you know, is you? The songs don't get any better than those two songs. <laughs> no, they don't. And you should, you can, nobody can hear me when I'm backstage in the green room. I'm screaming and whooping and yelling and dancing. That's why I was all a flutter when I first brought you on. I do have a question for you though. I'm, I'm curious because I've, I've read, done a lot of reading, a lot of your reviews and, and descriptions of you. And one of the common themes is that you sing a lot of different genres very, very well and somehow managed to make them your own, but you have focused on the great American songbook, much to the ASA's delight. I'm just wondering if you ever, if that was ever an issue in your career. 
Um, well, yes, the um, RCA, of course, decided that they should take me into a into a, a new world and into the today world. Sure. And uh, you know, I started recording in the late '60s, and that's when the Beatles happened. Right. I, I always said, if my wife, if, if my life had been a little different in the in, and I'd been recording in the '40s, my life would have been different. But right. but uh, this was the late '60s, so they thought we got to get get her in today you know yeah so this next song is 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 that the next song i'm not sure yes about a today song yeah. not that we particularly love but but we well, tried to do it there we go let me play that for for the people here is one of the fine singers working today she she knows her craft professional in every sense of the word this is the rca album called step to the rear and of course miss marilyn may the day is through And life would be so sweet now The night is new We are back with Marilyn May. It's too tragic. <laughs> no, I was thinking really you playing all of that. I would never. Oh, oh my! I loved it. You're just gorgeous always. Um, 
I'm so going to go ahead and run our banner. Tragic. I don't sing songs like that anymore. They're tragic. <laughs> <laughs> no tragedy right now. Yeah. Please, yeah. Right, Carolyn, please. Absolutely. And, and I'll tell you, the ASA is so fortunate to have you doing this benefit for our education program. Um, and I'm going to speak about it for a second since I sort of botched it at the beginning. I get a second chance. Um, I just want everyone to know that uh, a, a perk of membership, which is only $65 for the year to be a member of the ASA, ASA. Um, you get uh, a full year subscription to Cabaret Scenes magazine. And I did manage to get the little ticker going at the bottom of our screen to show that this is a benefit and to give you all the information that you need. All the money no. goes to the American Songbook Association to continue their good work. I am so grateful to Frank Dane and to all of the board for yeah. bringing me the, the uh, first, it was the their yeah. first of uh, the organization, their first lifetime achievement award, which which was only a couple of years ago. That so is correct. That is all the help they can get to continue, because what what are the what work are they doing with young people? You know, Phil. Yeah, well, so I go into I was going into public schools and bringing wonderful performers to help kids. Yeah sing and learn the Great American Songbook. Now we're doing it virtually through a YouTube channel, but I'm also teaching kids virtually. So we're doing Zoom rooms so that they can audition for performing arts high schools. And yeah. our real goal is to get kids that wouldn't otherwise have any access to music education into some of these really good schools in New York City. There are 17 between Manhattan and Brooklyn. So we're very, very lucky to have you because lots of people are watching and we are very grateful. And, yeah. you're, and you're giving them um, the, the material you're giving them is all um, American song. It's okay. all American song, yeah. And we had a wonderful Johnny Mercer show with a school from oh, East Harlem. My favorite. <laughs> they were terrific, and um, we're so lucky. Now, I wanted to ask you a little bit. I'm going to turn off that ticker because it's distracting. But I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, singing for Stephen Sondheim's 80th at Carnegie oh. Hall. That yeah, the is real. It was my first time. I've, I've done. Uh, other shows that come with just as not my own show at Carnegie Hall, that's on my bucket list. Yeah. Um, but with the uh, beautiful New York Pops Orchestra, uh, and, uh, this was the first time that with the orchestra, and they had many, many wonderful Broadway show stars. And I had the 11 o'clock slot. Yes, you did. And I, sang, and, uh, I was thrilled to be singing for Mr. Sondheim. Then and and uh, after my song, it was up to the, it was his turn to come and speak uh, and tell everybody, thank you, happy birthday. So he was standing backstage with me and I looked at him and I said, hi, you know, <laughs> he said, he said, congratulations. And that was it. That oh, was it. But I thought, okay. Hey, well, right. first of all, yes, please to Carnegie Hall. I would just love to see that yeah, happen. Nice. I would love to do that. That's on my book. Excellent. So, the gorgeous orchestra, the New York Pops. Um, we do a lot of symphony orchestras, but but not a full concert with them. And well, it'll be a pretty pretty amazing program, and I'd be in the front row. So I'm going to bring. Uh, I'm going to show you. Bye, Marilyn. I'm going to put you in the waiting room for one moment. A wonderful Schwartz and Dietz and Sondheim. I still say medley. I can't do mashup, um, as only Marilyn May can. Here's a gal that's been with us many times, a super singer, I call her. Would you welcome Miss Marilyn May? Yeah. I'll go my way by myself. This is the end of romance. I'll go my way by myself. Life is is merely a dance I'll face the unknown I'll build a world all my own because no one knows better than, than I myself that I am by myself but alone is alone it's not alive somebody hold me too close somebody hurt me too deep somebody sit in my chair 
and ruin my sleep Make me aware of being alive Of being alive Somebody need me too much And somebody know me too well Somebody pull me up short And put me through hell And give me support For being alive For being alive Make me alive Make me confused Love me with praise Let me feel used That I am by myself We'll be, we'll be all That's the way to sing a song. That's right. She is really she great. Sings. That is indeed the way to sing a song. Every clip in this show is the way to sing a song. Uh, you're back with the ASA live broadcast benefit for the American Songbook Association's Education and Outreach Program with Marilyn May. You heard uh, that man say that, that she sings. You heard the one word sing. That was it. And yeah. Who brought me to the Tonight Show? He saw me at the living room in New York, um, you know, before I ever made an appearance. And he said, "Oh, he said you've got to come and do the Carson Show." And I said, "Yes, I do." <laughs> yes. Why? Yes, I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. You you <laughs> told me when we were speaking the other day that you had a story about Melissa Manchester, and I wanted to hear it. Oh, this, this I, uh, it. coming up to uh, the tune that, that she and um, and Carol Bear Sarah, Carol yeah. Bear Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> And Melissa and I have known each other now a little bit, and and uh, when I, I I've done the show on on stage a lot too, and not just on the on the Carson show. And um, when I found it, I thought that it that maybe you were talking to a dog. If you can imagine, when you listen to these words, your little dog maybe has run away, <laughs> and, and if you open your front door and there's your little dog. <laughs> you listen to all these lyrics, and I said, "Did you write this about a dog?" She said, "No, Marilyn. No, I didn't." <laughs> I said, "Well, let me imagine it anyway." <laughs> now I'm going to be belting this tune every time I take my little terriers for a walk in the rain. You know, it, it's the little dog that that I think was lost, and you know, and and so you you say, "Hello there, good old friend of mine." I you for yourself this. for such a long time. <laughs> you, you, you think. <laughs> I have a 16 and a half year old terrier that would look at me like I had lost my mind, but without well, further ado. To him and, he'll, and he'll love it. I hope he doesn't run away. Don't let him run away. Okay. <laughs>
I know I young budding singers out there who want to know how it's done, get her records there or listen to her. You can hear the lyrics, you hear the story, and she knows what it's all about. Yes, she is her own master class. We're here with Marilyn May. She is so generous. Uh, Johnny, very generous. Well, you noticed, you noticed in, in, a, in a master class, I always say, switch hands with your microphone. You know, you notice this mic was a court, it was that long ago. Yeah. You know, no cordless mics. Yeah, right. you know, I had the cord, so it was difficult to. I'd be tripping over the cord. <laughs> but, <laughs> at this point, well, this has been, you know, the, it's a wonderful sort of re retrospective and look back. But I also have material that was you appeared on yeah. Harry Connick Jr.'s show within um, the last two years. And how did that? How did that come to pass? I love Harry. Well, um, we met. Um, I was doing a, a gala at um, uh, Jazz at Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. uh, they're big in Rose Hall, and Harry was the um, MC on on that, and and uh, he heard me, and, and I think eventually we did his show. He's he's a oh, what a doll. After this show, he came to Kansas City to a big theater, 
and um, I was called. They, they called me and said, there'll be tickets there for you. And um, I said, oh, but I'm in New York. And they said, well, it's not till next Saturday. And I said, I'm, I'm flying back to Kansas City on Friday. So it was Christmas time and I was coming back to my daughter, Christy Tucker, who is, who is my daughter here in Kansas City. And uh, so I, I, um, I'm sitting in the seat and he's starting to talk about singers and or a singer. And um, my assistant, Helen, said, get ready. And I said, no, 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 he's talking about Ella because it was such accolades, you know. Yeah. And, and, and so uh, he finally said, and Marilyn May, and would you come up and do, you know, in this great big theater in Kansas City and come up and do a song? So I got up and I said, well, okay, what do we do? And I said, you're going to play for me? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yeah. wow. So fast forward to this this uh, Christmas time, and he was at the Nieder Nederlander mm -hmm. uh, Theater in on Broadway, and uh, during his uh, production in the Broadway show theater, he started talking about a singer and introduced me, and I did stand and take a bow. <laughs> Good. Oh, how wonderful. Well, it's very clear. I, I watched that and just loved your appearance on his show. And I felt like our audience needs to see it. He you love him. Smart too, right? and, yes. And he is a smart, savvy musician. So it takes one to know one. I'm going to introduce Harry Connick Jr. now. something you need to stop what you're doing and come sit around the TV because my next guest is a Grammy nominated jazz legend who's been performing all across the country for over seven decades. She is an iconic singer and entertainer who I'm so honored to have with us on the show today. Please welcome one of my favorites and yours too, Miss Marilyn May. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's really an honor to have you here. It's an honor to be here. And I would have said that to you 60 years ago because of your <laughs> musicianship and your uh, unparalleled abilities as a performer and, and entertainer. Thank you so much. They ju it's just very rare. How, how did you get into singing in the first place? My mother decided she would have a girl, and she decided that I would sing. <laughs> and right? so, you know, my mother played piano. She, she, uh, what kind of music did she play? Uh, she played stride. Oh, know? really? <laughs> You would have liked to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Played good and could and, and could modulate. You know, she could change keys. Is that how you learned and, uh, sort of the, the the music theory that you? Oh, know? probably not. You know, she. I kind of outgrew mother. I I got started getting other pianists when I was in my teens. Right. And um, had radio show in my teens and and went to clubs in my teens. Wound up with, as staff vocalist on a radio show. That's how old I am. <laughs> For a couple of years in Louisville, Kentucky. And then started working the clubs, you know. Amazing. Now you were on the Tonight Show seventy-six times with Johnny Carson. That's, counting. that's hard to be, that's hard to believe. Oh, he was wonderful. He was what was he like? What was he like to, to sit up on the panel with? Well, he was adorable, you know, and he loved he loved music, you know. He played guitar and and sang a little bit himself and uh, you know how he would sit with the with the sofa here and, right. and be talking to the people or whatever. But when you when I worked, he would completely turn around and completely face face me, which I thought was so. In nice. fairness, that's you because you command that kind Thank of you. attention. You were saying just on <laughs> before you came out here how great the cr the cl the crowd was at Dizzy's uh, when you're singing here in New York, and you say that the. The crowd is sitting on the edge of their seat, but that's you. That's not the crowd. Harry, thank you, you. Make, you make them do that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. Thank you. not not a lot of people uh, can can say this about themselves, but you can. Ella Fitzgerald was a huge fan of yours. Well, she was the doll, and of course, you know, she reigns as the queen of it all. Um, we were friends in in dressing rooms. You know, she would be in some city and maybe I would be working over here and she'd be working over there. So um, we, I would go visit her for her show and then we'd sit in the dressing room and talk. One time we were in a, in a dressing room in Atlanta 
And we talked and talked and talked, and there was a party she was supposed to go to. And she said, will you come to the party? They're having a party for me. And I said, I'd love to. But we got so involved, and this man kept coming in and saying, Miss Fitzgerald, you really have to go now. And she'd say, I, I know. I'll, I'll. And she was shy, basically very shy and very calm and, and you know, within herself. And, and uh, so they, he said, we've got to go to the party. And she'd say, I know, I know. And finally, uh, on the third time that he came in to say, we have to go to the party, she said, I'm talking to my friend. Mm. We will come in a minute. <laughs> I, thought, oh. I said, Ella, you really asserted yourself. That was really cool. I, I love that. Now, you're about to have a milestone birthday. Oh, dear. You, you have big plans to celebrate? Uh, it starts with a nine. <laughs> 90 years old. Yes, we're going to do, on my birthday, we're doing uh, at uh, Feinstein's 54 below here in New York. Uh, we have my birthday night and then and five more nights. That's amazing. And if anybody, I have to tell you, uh, for the folks watching at home, if you're anywhere around New York City, uh, look that up and go, because to see you perform is, is, is a lesson in Thank how you. songs should be sung. Uh, I can you. promise you one thing, if you and I ever shared a bill, I would make sure that I went on first. No, I would, you would not. Yes, ma'am. I no, would never would follow not. you. No. I'd be crazy. But let's do that sometime. I, I would, it, it would I be would an be honor. I would be so honored to be with you. And, and <laughs> thank you. Yeah, would you sing for us now? I would love to. We'd love it. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, on the piano, Mr. Ted Firth and the legendary Marilyn May performing Here's to Life. No complaints and no regrets. I still believe in chasing dreams and placing bets. And I have learned for all you give, it's all you get. So you give it all you've got I've had my share, I drank my fill And even though I'm satisfied I'm hungry still To see what's down the other side Beyond the hill And, and do it all again So here's to life And every joy it brings Yes, here's to life To dreamers and their dreams When you're young The notes are never wrong And soon you learn that Near the music you belong Wish we could turn the years Into a longer song I'd sing it all again so here's to life and every melody Yes, here's to life and all our memories It's funny how the time just flies How love can go from warm hellos to sad goodbyes and leave us with our memories we've memorized to keep our winters warm for there's no yes in yesterday and who knows what tomorrow brings or takes away as long as i'm still in this game i want to play for laughs for life for love so here's to life and every joy that it brings. Here's to life, to dreamers and their dreams. May all your storms be weathered and all that's good get better. Here's to life, here's to love. Here's to life, here's to love, and here's, here's to you.
so much, Marilyn. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. For more information on Marilyn's upcoming shows at Feinstein's 54 Below, go to harrytv.com. We'll be right back. I've played that clip over and over uh, in an attempt to rehearse not to cry. And to date, I have been unsuccessful. I'm bringing Marilyn back oh, on. It was that bad, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a puddle. Uh, so Carson and Connick, both of them saying to every young singer, and I think to every singer. My friend, the uh, sex man Marilyn. that you saw once in a while uh, was Jerry Weldon there. Right. And he's my buddy that called and said, we'll have tickets for you at the theater. And, and we, we still talk to each other. I called him yesterday to say, you got to watch because the clip will be on. Um, Harry is, is he the dearest thing? He is just so oh, brilliant. And, and he's dreamy. He's dreamy and smart and musical. And he's he's got all the marbles. That's what I that's what I yeah, say about someone so like good. that. He's got so much talent and so much uh, empathy for for everyone in the world. He's a yeah. precious angel. <laughs> like you. Listen, we only have a few songs left, sadly, but I did want to ask you uh, what you were thinking of when you recorded this one. It's uh, it's always so clear that you are present and in the moment, but I, I just wanted to know what was going well, through. It's kind of a funny story. I love, I love this particular song that we go into. Um, uh, it, now, it's, it's been, well, I'm going to tell you, it's called I Will Survive. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I hate to announce the name of the song before we play it, but 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 um, so that you'll know what we're talking about. But I will survive is what, and we will, and I will. This is my message to all of you out there: stay in, stay safe, and uh, um, just keep busy, <laughs> and we will survive all of this. But uh, well, when I recorded it, I called and. Uh, who had someone who had just become an ex-lover of mine. And it was a very, very difficult breakup. I had three husbands and a meaningful love affair. And this was my meaningful love affair. And all of them are gone now. They're all yeah. gone. But uh, so I can tell this story. <laughs> I called him. I called the meaningful love affair. And we had just broken up. And I said, I'm going to do the Johnny Carson show tonight. And I'm, I'm going to sing a song especially for you. Oh, for you to watch. <laughs> and so it's this song. <laughs> well, there you go. Whoops, I have done something and I don't know what it is. I've, yeah, I'm trying to get back. Story. We have a lot of stories. <laughs> yes. No, I know. Well, I, I was just about to say that was such a beautiful dedication and I'm now going to play the song. She says, here we go. Okay, here is a gal who has been with us about 74 times on the show who can sing just about anything she sets her mind to. She's one of the best singers in the business. Would you welcome Marilyn May. Marilyn? I spent so many nights just thinking how you did me wrong and I grew strong and I learned how to get along so now you're back from outer space I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face I should have changed that stupid luck I should have made you leave your key if I had known for just one second you'd be back to bother me go on Walk out the door, don't turn around now You're not welcome anymore Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I I will survive As long as I know how to love I know I'll stay alive And I've got all my life to live I've got all my love to 
to give and I'll survive I'll survive, I will survive Yes, I will survive It took all the strength I had not to fall apart That's why it's hard to mend the pieces of my broken heart And I spent oh so many nights just feeling sorry for myself I used to cry But now I hold my head up high Carolyn Montgomery and I'm here with Marilyn May and we just have two more songs for you this evening but I wanted to bring Marilyn May back on because the timing of this one is interesting the dedication of the last one to the people who are dealing with the pandemic we will survive I felt that this one was perhaps a dedication to I'm feeling the empathy coming from your lineup here Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why we put it there. And we will. We will survive. We've uh, been canceled so much. Uh, 54 Feinstein's 54 below. We had eight nights in April and eight more nights in October, which I've learned now that we're not going to get to do that. Uh, in June, we had the Iridium, the wonderful jazz room that I love. Mm -hmm. Um, next next January, I'm I'm hoping um, New Year's Eve in January we'll get to do uh, Birdland, the Birdland Theater, the wonderful new room at Birdland. Um, so let, us, let us keep our fingers crossed for that. And uh, right. so I'm so grateful. Um, I do want to say uh, the. Doc Severinsen Band, how great it wasn't it fun? It was so it was such a trip to be with them. We yeah. would rehearse the song, and of course they'd cut it the first time, right? You know, it would be exactly right the first time. But they would always say, "Let's let's let's rehearse it again." They just they just had fun doing it. And, oh, and how much fun to work with them! Well, we all need a little uplifting during this time, and Marilyn May is going to bring it to us. Here is a, uh, one of the truly fine singers around today. She will be appearing in Atlanta, Georgia at the Regency Hyatt House this coming November 28th for uh, three weeks. And I suggest you go see her because she's a fine, fine artist. Would you welcome Marilyn May? And you're troubled And you need some love and care And nothing, nothing is going right Just close your eyes and think of me And soon I will be there To brighten even your darkest night Where you just call out my To see you again and again. A winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you gotta do is call me now, and I'll be there. Yes, I'll tell you I've got a friend now. Oh, yes, you've got a friend, yeah. Oh, you have a friend. And ain't it good? 
you know that you've got a friend when people can be so cold they will hurt you they'll desert you they will take your soul if you let them but reach out for me don't you worry i'll see you through reach out for me You know, every young gal who wants to be a vocalist should listen to that gal without any of the tricks and the uh, over-amplification of 19 guitars, just singing out like she's great. Well, I could do this for several more hours, but we have sadly come to our last song. And before I bring Marilyn May out to say goodbye, I, I want to thank her from the bottom of my heart to the entire board of the American Songbook Association joins me in thanking her for donating her time and her immeasurable talent for this fundraiser, for the children who benefit from our education programs and for our beloved Great American Songbook. I keep forgetting to put this on here and I'm gonna go ahead and run it for a moment. If you wanna donate and if you've enjoyed the program today, Marilyn came on specifically to help us raise money for our American Songbook Education Program. So I hope you'll check out the ticker below and, uh, and give what you can. And if it can be $65, you get the benefit of Cabaret Scenes Magazine as well. So thank you so much for being here and I will bring Marilyn back to the program. Carolyn, oh, I want to say thank you to you, oh. and um, thank you to uh, everyone watching. I'm glad that you <laughs> that you're doing that. I um, I'm, I'm last night I worked in a on a drive-in <laughs> in Kansas City. <laughs> there, oh, really? there were four wonderful musicians from Kansas City that that called and said we play every 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 Saturday or every Sunday uh, in at somebody's drive-in and people bring, they, they come and they, they get out of their cars, they, they unfold their chairs and they sit there and love the music. Uh, Gerald Spates is my bassist that I always use here and Rod Fleeman is here and, and they, they were wonderful musicians that I, that I worked with all the time. And um, uh, they said, come and sing. So I sang. Now, now next month, uh, October fourteenth for five days. You'll be in Minneapolis, right? In Minneapolis. Yeah, and and, and that, then we were singing in a tent. I guess there's a tent that they've got. So you know, showbiz, whatever, whatever. whatever you can. And you just finished with a gig in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Oh, you were there for what? So yeah. Wonderful. We worked the there. Mark Portali was. I worked uh, nine years in the art house for for Mark, and this year he joined hands with the man who owns the Crown and Anchor, and they built this beautiful outdoor stage and uh, invited me to come there. It was my tenth year at, at B Town, and uh, so it was just a joy to. Oh, it was the happiness place. It well, it's inspiring happiness. to see you finding places to do it, and uh, <laughs> all of us cannot wait to see you live. Just point me an off thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Thank you, Carolyn, to you. And thank you, Frank Dane, for the American, for this wonderful American Songbook Association. You're welcome. So I'm going to go ahead and end the show with this next song. Um, we chose it. It is a particularly beautiful message to everybody out there listening, particularly the performers. I'm Carolyn Montgomery, your host, and I thank you so much for being here with the amazing Marilyn May. We're going to let her go ahead and sing you out. My next guest is one of my favorite singers. She is uh, currently appearing at the Backlot Theater of Studio One through Sunday, February the 26th. And she received in the, the trades out here one of the most outstanding reviews I've ever read for a singer. She, she really is outstanding. Would you welcome, please, Miss Marilyn May.
Nobody can tell you There's only one song worth singing They may try and sell you Because it hangs them up To see someone like you But you've got to Make your own kind of music Sing your own little song Make your own kind of music Even if nobody else sings along You are gonna be nowhere The loneliest kind of lonely It may be rough going Thank you.